All right, we are back and we are better than ever coming to you from the eternal hellscape that is the Pacific Northwest. I am your confused, scared, middle-aged man wandering through a small town, digging up past traumatic instances. I am the chosen one, Zach Winters. With me, as always, is my sexy nurse with no face, Darkness. How's it going, everybody? And last but certainly not least, the weird vagina monster from Silent Hill 4, Big Vicious. <laughs> God. So I told you I was practicing that all day. I was thinking that all day and I couldn't remember that, that monster's name. But anyway, yeah, Silent Hill jokes. We're living in a, a, a forever fog right now with smoke and Oregon burning down all around us. It, Thanks it for smells, your input, V. That was horrible out there. <laughs> it smells like uh, like constant campfire. Like you, oh, you, you go out no camping problem. and you get that in your clothes and it doesn't come out. And it it's gets like all up in your nose. It's like the best barbecue joint. Oh, yeah. It gets all up in your nose and then you blow your nose and it's black. And yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like that all over the place oh, now. Yeah. It's so bad that it's side as it is my work. Well, yeah, because the, the, the doors are opening or is opening and closing. So... Oregon being on fire. That's why we weren't able to uh, record last week and give you guys a show because spotty internet, uh, V and Darkness might have had to have evacuated. They didn't, so everybody's fine on our end. So other than that, how was your guys' weeks? Oh, do you want me to get into the smiting early or? <laughs> oh, I love. How has God smited Darkness? Like, our, is our opening act? Well, the uh, the beginning of it. So I'm sitting here, I'm playing my uh, my Xbox, and there's nothing else to do. So I went back and I started playing Arkham Origins, and I'm right Underrated. in the middle. Yeah, I just I went back to it because I had, something else came out and I just kind of dropped it. So I have a lot of these games where I go back and play them. So I'm uh, in the middle of beating Copperhead, and I took me a couple times and i get to right where the energy level is just about done and i'm like i got it i finally got it <laughs> and the fucking power goes out to the entire house and Motherfucker. everything's gone i was like no so yeah the power went out that's for about 12 hours or, yeah probably about 12 hours or so but it was fun so we lost the internet we lost power we're sitting here with candles like it's the dark ages all of a sudden. But yeah, that oh, was yeah. it. God smited me by cutting out my electricity. And now I have to go back and beat Copperhead again. So, <laughs> first world <laughs> problems, I know, but still. How about you, V? Uh, just trying to fight the smoke. Like I said, it's hard running around at work. You got smoke inside, you got smoke outside. Uh, everywhere you turn, I mean, unless you go into a closet and try to, like, breathe in some chemicals, I mean, you ain't getting no fresh air. And and you have lungs like fucking Darth Vader anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Other than fighting the, uh, I mean, this craziness, I mean, hell, trying to drive out in this stuff on occasion was, like, difficult. You couldn't see oh, in front yeah. of you, um, you know. I think it was, like, fucking... Friday was awful. I couldn't see like 20 feet. I got like a 45 minute drive to work and I couldn't see like 20 feet in front of me. Yeah. It's like jolly old England out there. Hey, hey. Exactly. Jack Ripper gonna come by and slit open your guts. That seems <laughs> racist. I'm not sure how, but I just don't like it. Uh, I, I, I didn't know that, that Europeans were a race, but yeah. Okay. Ah, fuck it. Uh, me, I have... Let's see, I've, get, I've been getting into a bunch of stuff that we'll probably talk about later. Uh, the Boys dropped, which I am was super, super excited for. And their new episode, so they're doing weekly episodes. Yeah, they started... It Usually they just drop an entire season, but now they're doing it the Mandalorian route, where you get one I, every week. I honestly love that. Yeah, I mean, you... It, like we were talking about before in previous shows, they drop the entire season, you binge it, and then it's like it's just disposable because you get through yeah. it all in a day or two and then you got nothing to look forward to. Exactly. And I think like uh, like Game of Thrones was kind of like before before The Mandalorian, before uh, The Boys, Game of Thrones was like the last communal sit down. We all sit down at this time on this day 
and we're all going to watch it. We're all st- going to stay away from the computers on Monday in case those other people haven't seen it. But it was like our last big communal thing, and now I feel like the Mandalorian and the boys have kind of picked up that torch. Yeah, I agree with that one. And Mandalorian just dropped their season two trailer, which is kind of cool. So yeah. hold on before we to... before we get into that. No. Before we get into that, I got to finish out other things because I played some games too. BPM bullets per minute, which I tried to get you on. Jeez. What? I looked at that. Dance Dance Revolution in a first With guns! <laughs> that is fucking cool! It's if Doom and Car Hero had a baby, and it is so fucking cool. Oh, man. I, I just looked at the preview, because I think it's like 17 bucks or something, and I'm like, uh, I don't know if I really want to go, because I get frustrated with those games on their own, but then you throw in a first-person shooter dynamic, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to rage quit this real quick. What? Once you kind of like get into it and kind of get into a rhythm and <laughs> yeah, there is a rhythm to it. It's, it's fun, but yeah, once you kind of like you first pick it up and I remember like I did the tutorial, went to the first room, died almost instantly because I couldn't get into the, the, the beat. Yeah. It just seems like you're taking an extra part of a game that's already difficult and then just making it even more difficult for no apparent reason. Oh, but once there's like, there's like nothing better than that heroin feel of like clearing out a room, getting the beats just right and getting everything just right getting everything fluid. Everything's in motion. Yeah. yeah. It's just like smooth and silky like butter. <laughs> See, it's, it's funny because I've been using a computer <laughs> since I was in elementary school. And I still have to look at the keyboard in order to type. And I got... Because you still... Well, you got your reader glasses on, too. Oh, yeah. Now I do. But it's uh, it's funny because I got Typing of the Dead. And it's, it's oh, the yeah. same kind of thing where you're just adding an extra part of a game that doesn't need to be there to make it extra difficult. Like, House of the Dead is difficult, but then you add t- trying to type to it. And it's just, well, like, why? Why would you do this to yourself? It sounds like you're mad that games aren't catering to you. No, no. I just find games that are long, like, you know, ABC, <laughs> Sesame Street's pretty much up my alley. So I'm, I can... Why can't everything be like Call of Duty? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I play other things. I just told you I was playing no. Batman. I went back, I got uh, the Contra Anniversary, I'm playing that. I'm playing oh, Neverwinter, I'm playing all kinds of crazy stuff. But, I should pick yeah. up Neverwinter. Speaking of other things that I'm playing and trying new experiences, um, I've discovered a whole new gameplay genre on Steam of uh, porno games. <laughs> oh, you just discovered this? I, I didn't know these were a thing. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not writing tutorials for them. Fuck, I, like, I was just... I was bored earlier and kind of, I was waiting for uh, bullets per minute to download. And I was, cause you know, they do your suggested queue. And um, uh, this one, ca- this one called <laughs> sexual void came up. I'm like, okay, I'm going to check this out. And then, yeah, it's just a porno game. And I, it was three bucks. So I bought it. I jerked off. I jerked of off a couple times to it. It's all right. It, I remember when I was a kid and the, the like, the most porno game that was like the holy grail for all of us kids. Fucking cut try... revenge. No, no, not I'm not that damn old. Jesus was uh, Leisure Suit Larry. Oh um, yeah, you remember that? Leisure <laughs> like, Suit Larry, the dirtiest game your dad had on his computer. That yep. poor bastard. <laughs> no, this one gets pretty uh, hardcore. That motherfucker. Yeah. I mean. It... There's Leisure Suit Larry, and then you discover truck stops that have arcades in them, and they got some crazy oh. stuff in there. But, those weird knockoff, uh, those weird knockoff arcade machines where Mario is just a moving penis now. Yeah, there's like Tetris, and behind the the picture is the naked woman. It's, it's like, <laughs> but it's like an '80s chick with a big old bunch of hair everywhere. Well, big old it. push. Yeah, yeah, it's just. <laughs> I didn't oh, like how how into that you got. Just your big old bush and big old teased hair. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be coming up for air and pulling hair out of the back of my throat. Jesus. Uh, so you. <laughs> so uh, all right, where do we go from here? So BPM. 
It's also funny. Sexual so, void. Yeah. So you got bolts per minute, and you also got the music genre BPM. So it's kind of kind of funny how they did that, but cool. So I looked at the previews. It's not my type of game, but I hope you have fun. I have been. Good. I've All also right. been having fun with Sexual Void. Why aren't we talking about that one? Because <laughs> none of us know what you're talking about. It's literally just a game where you get like a fake woman. And then um, she she's just standing there and you could pick out little uh, you could pick out little outfits and shit for her. Right. And then you could pick out like things you want her to do. Like she'll like they have weird tentacle monsters attacking her. And you've seen enough hentai to know what that's about. <laughs> that's a whole and then, genre uh, on it to itself. Yeah. Yeah, and she'll she'll like play with herself. There's uh, jack off instructional things where you gotta like go to the beat, and every beat you get, you you get to the point. So I've been I've been really good with the with the rhythmic shooters <laughs> uh, this week. Oh, so other video game news, real quick, while we're on it, unless you want to keep going off about sex void or sex void, <laughs> sex void. Um, the Mario thing. I mean this. We're kind of a week behind, so this might be old news for some people, but the Mario 3D set that they released, it's out now. I can't find it anywhere because it's already sold out, but they're doing well, yeah. it in a limited edition, limited... Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, what the hell is it? Like a limited release. It'll be going out in uh, March of next year. They just take it off so, the shelves. I don't know. What do, you, what do you think about that? Because I've heard... I've heard some people are getting pissed off about the 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 force rarity of it. Yeah, like it's just a, like I, it doesn't it doesn't bug me that much because like I, I've lived through those games. I've played them. I'm not the biggest Nintendo or Mario fan, so but I've seen people like putting up whole videos of them crying and whining. It's not fair. Why are they doing this to us? And it's well, Nintendo knows how to make money for one. Yeah, Nintendo's like very. Nintendo is very good at keeping the value with their games and with their stuff. Yeah, because of that, it's funny because like Switch games and stuff like that, they rarely drop in price. So yeah. it's not like one of the things where you know, let's say Batman Arkham is is a huge release, and it's six months down the road, it's twenty bucks. You know, yeah. every game for the most part, especially if it's a Nintendo sanctioned release like a Mario game or I something, mean, like it, like fuck, I saw. Uh, Borderlands 3 was one of the biggest releases. What was it last year? Was it last year or earlier this year? It was earlier this year. It was earlier this year, and I saw it in a bundle with uh, 4 for 30. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and that's, and you're never going to see that with a Nintendo game. Let it be Switch. Even I've seen, like, if you get yourself a, a, a gold, a gold Legend of, Zen, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That's still mm-hmm. gonna be setting you back fifty, sixty bucks. That's crazy. It's just like there. It, Disney did the thing. It was called vaulting. It's going into the Disney vault, and they're basically creating their own price point for these things because they have full access to their own stuff. Yeah, but they're only making it available to the public, and then the secondary market and eBay and stuff like that started cropping up and just destroying that. So. God. I hate scalpers so much. Yeah, it's. The I mean, scalpers like, and... like with the with the Dis- the whole Disney Vault thing, like it's not like impossible. Like it's not impossible to get a hold of Snow White now. Just it'll have its limited run, and people they'll see how popular it was, and it'll come back. Oh yeah, definitely. If they Nintendo's can make a couple bucks off of it, then they'll for sure do it. Yeah, Nintendo's always kind of leery of trying new things, so. Nine times out of ten, what they'll do is they'll dunk their toe in the water, and then if it's warm, they'll just jump right in. But if it's cold, they'll back right the fuck out. Take the Wii U, for example. Both the Xbox what well, the Xbox One and the PS4 lasted almost twice as long as the Wii U did. I mean, I had a Wii, and then I just skipped the Wii U and went into the Switch. No, I mean, hardly anyone got the, the Wii U. It's just a bad the only system. reason. The only reason I kind of wanted one was because... Uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker was the only Zelda I've never played. Oh, is that is it Wii U exclusive? Yeah. Well, for now, I'm pretty sure you'd probably find it like on the Switch store or something, but 
Yeah, they'll pro- they'll probably port it over if there's a big enough demand. <laughs> Fucking good luck navigating that thing. It's it's yeah, like I said, this this Mario 3D three pack that they have, they're selling physical copies and they're selling it on their digital store. So it's uh, Super Mario 64, it's Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy, and these Ooh. are like three of the most modern, well reviewed games that they've got. So everyone's pissed because it's only selling till March on uh, on the game, the app itself, like in the store, digital, you can only buy it. And then they're only having a certain amount of the carts go out, the actual physical copies. Yeah. So they're they're creating their own supply and demand. And I don't know if they're going to be able to capitalize on it as best they can because, I mean, I guess they are in a way because they're going to have all their copies sold. But then the secondary market is where everything's going to blow up and everyone's going to start making their money. Because you got people buying these copies out and just holding on to them until, well, yeah. you know. And like I said before, you'll have scumbag scalpers who'll, who will wait in line, buy six copies, jack up the price, and sell all six of them on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, that's I exactly it. fucking hate scalpers so goddamn much. But anyway, like, yeah, like uh, those people who... Uh, when the the mini SNES came out, oh yeah, and they sold out almost instantly. But then you could find you could find them online, like on eBay for three hundred bucks. Kiss yeah. my ass. Yeah, they had all those mini systems that are coming out. People are doing the same thing. I mean, they had a Turbo Gra- I don't know if it came out yet or not. The Turbo Graphic sixteen one. It's like, geez, man, how many of these systems are they going to put? And people do it the same thing every time one releases. They buy them out and they hold on to them. And it sucks now because even certain stores are getting exclusive, you know, whatevers. And I know Target's one of the big ones because they get exclusive, let's say, Funko Pops. And they have bot programs that go in and buy everything out before actual consumers can get in there and buy stuff. That's so, nuts. yeah, it's just ridiculous, that whole kind of thing. I mean, the stores don't care because they're selling whatever product, but, you know. It's just insane, the secondary market for this kind of stuff. So I can see why people are pissed, but, you know, it's a company. They're going to do what companies do. Exactly. They're going to make money. They're going to try their hardest. And what you could still find it. it. It won't be hard to find these, I guarantee you. So that was that was my video game news that I had. I don't know. <laughs> you got an update well, on the Avengers game there, V? Well, I've been playing a little bit of the Avengers. It's pretty fun. I'm getting a little further in. I haven't really did any uh, video game this week just due to the fact that, you know, trying to figure out all this fire stuff. But, uh, you know, so far, so far, so good. Uh, I just uh, got to the point where I acquired uh, Thor. So nice. I got got almost the whole team back together. Um, one interesting thing I did find out Man, I'm, I I don't know much about uh, like the Steam accounts and stuff, but uh, yep. I was just I was watching the um, the remake of Waxworks the other day, and found out they made a video game, actually a couple video games, off the movie. Off of Waxworks. Um, yeah. So uh, really. So I, I one was back in like. Uh, kind of a first-person scroll-through castle game. Um, and then they made this one. I, I believe it just recently came out. You have four different um, exhibits in the museum that you can go into, and it takes you into time, like ancient Egypt and a few other uh, different things. But it's a kind of a first-person horror-type video game that, I mean, I might start looking into this uh, Steam stuff and... Uh, yeah, I'm actually checking it out. I'm looking at it right now. It actually it came out in j- January, so oh, this shit. is still yeah. like relatively brand new game. It's called Waxworks: Curse of the Ancestors. That's cool. It's only twenty bucks. Wow, <laughs> I'm just looking at it. I didn't right? know this thing existed. You no, know, computer was, uh... games are so crazy because they pick up on some of the most obscure IPs that you can think of, and they make games out of them. Well, it's it's easier for like you're not gonna see people like because 
you're not going to see people like this doing stuff for uh, for Sony or for Nintendo because they closely guard their shit. Where like anybody could pick up a, a dev kit online and just be like, "Huh, I'm going to make a, a wax word game." Yeah, and like me and three other people will play it. And there was a, a horror one, another one. It was a fighting game. It was similar to like Mortal Kombat, and they got in trouble because they used a bunch of the characters that they're not supposed to. But it's still like traded in the in the underground kind of. It had like Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, the Tall Man, Chucky, uh, Ghostface, and it was kind of like a Mortal Kombat game. And you can still find it if you look. But it's just crazy the stuff that people can start doing, like at home. You know, they render everything and they get the dev kit and they put these things online. But oh, I never yeah. knew Waxworks was even a thing. Yeah, Interesting. I was I was shocked when I found out. See, yeah. I, I was just saying, actually, I was watching it yesterday, and it was my uh, my son's middle brother who brought it up. He's like, hey, did you know that they made a video game? And I'm like, you're lying, dude. So I looked it up, and sure enough, it's like, fuck. Yeah, the graphics are actually pretty decent. Um, like I said, I'm looking at it right now. So, yeah, they have two, two games out there, one back in nine, and then the one that just came out. I don't see the one on Steam, but the 94 one. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. 2020, this is pretty much a brand new game. <laughs> Who would have thought to dig up the, an old IP like Waxworks? <laughs> it's, like, it's insane. Uh, uh, fucking, fucking nerds with a lot of time on their hands. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got for video game stuff. Anyone well, else video game stuff? or? Um, one thing, I kind of want to bring it up because you were talking about it earlier, D, was... Um, uh, I, I I never heard about it until you said something. I've been looking it up right now. It looks pretty cool. Ghost Runner. Yeah. <laughs> I got an email. This is another one. I got smited a bit, but uh, I got an email from Steam because it's it's in my uh, my wish list. It's like Ghost Runner is now available. I was like, oh, so I jump on there and it's like for, for pre order. Pre <laughs> I think like, I might pre order it. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. It's kind of like a wet your appetite before uh, cyberpunk, but you know, it looks pretty Fuck. fun. Don't even talk to me about smiting because I've been waiting for cyberpunk for. Oh, well, I, you and me both, man. I've I've had like wallpapers on my my laptop for years for cyberpunk, and I was like, are they ever gonna get to this game? And then yeah, sure enough. God, uh, I hope it doesn't it... suck. God. You know, uh, CD Projekt Red has a phenomenal track record because it's only three games. <laughs> the Witcher, The Witcher 2, the Witcher, and The yeah. Witcher 3. <laughs> and they're all fucking phenomenal games. Yeah, I actually like The Witcher 3 a lot. It's the only one that I've played with any amount of time. But The Witcher, the Witcher 2 is probably a very underrated one. When I worked at GameStop, I almost hit a customer because... He wanted a game that was like an RPG, and I suggested The Witcher, and he came back the next day and he was like, this is bullshit. I don't ever want you uh, suggesting games to me again. <laughs> and I almost struck him. And that was your last day at GameStop. <laughs> People at GameStop, man, that's a whole nother story. It's just... Oh, we, we want to get into GameStop, GameStop horror stories. <laughs> but I had this meth head come in one time, right? And... Um, you know, you could tell when somebody's just obviously a peruser of meth. <laughs> and, like, she gives me this PlayStation 3, right? And she's wanting to trade it in. And I'm looking at it, and it's, like, dusty and grimy. And I pop open one of the covers, and there's, like, fucking grass growing in it. <laughs> and I straight up tell her, I'm like, no, I can't. I can't take this. And then she starts crying, oh my god, my kids aren't going to be able to eat tonight. And I'm like, well, you shouldn't have bought a PlayStation 3 if it's like your kids eating or buying a PlayStation 3. You know, um, you know she found it in a field somewhere. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. So she leaves. I'm not going to be able to get my mess tonight. <laughs> That's the real issue. I can't afford a spot on the flop house now. Uh, so hold on, but she leaves. Uh, she leaves her... Uh, boyfriend or husband calls back calls the store asking if i'm the one who denied his wife's um uh, playstation 3 and i said yeah and i told him why and then you know i'm a piece of shit and then uh, uh you know and again his kids aren't going to be able to eat tonight what what the fuck ever 
Uh, he told me he was going to come to the store and shoot up the store when I'm working. I'm like, well, I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> he never did show up. No? Oh, okay. No, that's the end of that story. <laughs> I was, I was waiting told... for this to get more in depth, but... <laughs> no, he, he told me he was going to shoot at the store and never showed up. I told him, all right, come on in. So the, did <laughs> did he come in? There Was there a weird guy that came in within the next couple of weeks that was on drugs that, like, well, shot up you've... in the store, maybe? Oh, maybe. Yeah, see, that's what he probably meant. He I was going to say, little... that's half of the clientele that comes into that GameStop. <laughs> I was going to say, same with yeah. Yeah, I'm going to come in there and shoot up in your store. What? <laughs> I mean, shoot up your store. Okay. <laughs> Give me heroin. Haram. Good God. <laughs> yeah, there's there's so many of those uh, GameStop horror stories out there, though. There's a whole YouTube channel dedicated to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen so there, a couple of them. There's this one guy who was, uh, I follow, I've, used to follow him on youtube he kind of slowed down because well i'll get into why uh he used to just tell all these horror like horrifying stories about uh about gamestop and all the shit that he'd have to deal with from corporate because gamestop corporate is fucking shit so like gamestop caught wind that he was telling all these stories and they kind of like pressured him to stop and then he refused to stop because you know freedom of speech and all that so they called the job that he was working at at that time and got him fired from there because they GameStop told his uh, company he's working for at that time, like, hey, he's making these movies, he might, or he's making these videos, he might make these videos about you too, you never know. Oh, and geez. so they actually got him fired from that shit. Is this uh, Camelot? Yes. Yeah. I can't even remember okay, his name. Yeah. <laughs> he's got that, like, Alabama accent. <laughs> I'm coming here to you today. I was working on GameStop. Yeah. My fat manager ran trains on one of the guests in the back. It was gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly, those are his stories too. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> like like I think yeah. he was manager for a long time, but then before him, his fat manager would always like smoke pot and and fuck the customers in the back room. Jeez. <laughs> I mean well, down there at Alabama. Video games is a is a luxury item. Come down my cousin sister. <laughs> we apologize to all of our uh, Alabama listeners. All yeah. two of them. We don't mean you guys. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're yeah, from Alabama, from Ireland, uh, we do. Yeah, that was interesting. Shout out to that person, Mr. Ireland <laughs> listener. Hello, make yourself known to us. If you're if you're uh, a member of my family, I love you. And and if not, if not, I, I kind of like you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know if my uh, Irish cousins will even know that I do this. So. Shout out to our one percent Ireland listener out there, wherever you are. <laughs> They're in Ireland, and uh, yeah, well, so, well, there's Dublin. There's you know, that's all. Dublin I know is of. Ireland. Anyway, I know, but there's different parts of Ireland. Do you not? Do you not know what Ireland is? It's a country. Close. <laughs> <laughs> what is it if it's not a country? It's a lifestyle, man. Oh, oh, okay. no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. It's a provident? It's a commonwealth? I don't know. We can't say that because then the IRA will get mad at us. Uh oh. No, no, no. Uh, we don't need any of that. <laughs> All right. So, moving right along there. Um, what do you want to get into now? You want to get into comments? Um, hold on. I, got, I just stumbled across something. Uh, Son of a bitch. Black Wit movies. Yes, this is what I just came across because we we're talking about Black Widow and how exciting we were for it. Uh, uh, Black so Widow's so is... Black Widow release expected to be postponed again. Oh jeez, uh, to February twelfth, twenty twenty one. Oh, Valentine's Day. Oh no, that's my two days. God, Valentine's Day is two after that. I know you've never the twelfth and fourteenth. I, I, I know you've never celebrated so. Valentine's Day, but it's on the fourteenth. Yeah. No, the twelfth is my dad's birthday, and the fourteenth is Valentine's Day. I get them mixed up sometimes. Jeez. So they push transposing it back numbers and such. You give your wife flowers Man. and chocolates on the twelfth, and she's like, "Why are you giving me these today?" And you're like, "Oh shit, my dad!" And you run out the door. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. <laughs> February twelfth now is what we got to. Look. They're holding off because they want to yeah. make that money. They want to put it in the theaters, but I mean, yeah. shit. Well, After I don't because the Mulan debacle. Oh. 
Uh, <laughs> I, I called it. I fucking called it from the beginning and the get go. That was going to be Mulan. Jesus. I mean, a a live action Disney uh, remake. If you're saying it's going to be bad, I'm going to say that's a safe bet. Oh yeah, this one was just beyond though. Did you watch I mean, it? For God's sakes, no, no, I refuse. There's two movies that came out recently that I refuse to watch that everyone's talking about: Mulan and Cuties. That's it. <laughs> well, we're watch. I'm not watching that for for different reasons. <laughs> Mulan. Well, no, Cuties. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because it's okay. fucking well, disgusting. Yeah. I know, I know it's supposed to be like a, a satire or something. Uh, Netflix has been like, no, it's it's speaking against how uh, you know little girls being sexualized. Well, you know, if I'm speaking against murder and I still go out there and murder somebody, I'm still going to be a murderer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's a whole other thing that borders on politics that I don't want to get into. But yeah, it's. Interesting situation for that, yeah. to say the least. And then Netflix's uh, stock is now tanking. Well, no shit. So everyone's like, yeah, we had hashtag canceled Netflix going for a while there and all that craziness. So well, I don't know. Everything. Everybody gets their panties up in a bunch over something. Yeah. No, no, no. This one, this yeah. one I'm kind of mad about. <laughs> well, I can't say that blame me. And I don't even have kids, so. I mean, get rid of the show or that's movie what or whatever it is, you know? They just, that's all yeah, they need I, I, to I do is not, is not uh, is, is get rid of the show or get rid of the movie, not show it, but they still are like, oh, no, it's art showing why it's wrong and all this other stuff. I go, well, it's still not a good thing to show. Right. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I understand. It was just like when 13 Reasons Why came out. You know, there was no, there's mixed emotions on that. No, I... Different topic. I mean, one's more work, like one's more, um, one's worse than the other. But what I'm saying here is, you got a bunch of people that are saying it like um, supports it or is putting it out there and making it um, glamorous, when in reality it was trying to get the word out there and like try to help people. So I mean, they're possibly in the realm of trying to um, make something good, but it's not the time nor the topic no. or anything like that that should be hit on you know what i mean in the about 13 reasons why my thoughts on it and is uh the immortalized words of dan devito suicide is badass okay so, i don't know i don't know where i was going with that one <laughs> all right well. um so uh, movies, movie news, yes. All right. Uh, so speaking, we, uh, uh, we got the, the update for Black Widow and Pixar. The new Pixar movie Soul is going to go to Disney Plus, like they did with uh, Onward, because I'm pretty sure they saw the backlash of Mulan. And was like, yeah, we don't want to do that again. And then speaking of being Dang. pushed back, does anybody think because of Robert Patterson getting the uh, the uh, release of Batman will be pushed back? It might be. No, you don't. I don't because. They were the preview that they had put out. They were only about twelve to eighteen percent done with the movie, so they still had a lot of movie to go. I still think they'll be able to hit their um, their date, their goal, because there's still so much time and so much that they have to do that they have already been allotted and, for. And you know, oh well, no, I hope the the super rich, super in shape, middle aged guy will survive the coronavirus. They continued filming like what like scenes without him, and then I guess they used his body double for some of the um, scenes that they could use the body double for. So I mean, they continued filming. I just with him getting the Rona, how long is he going to be out? What not? What for? You know, two weeks. Yeah, this shit runs its course in two weeks. You could be like the Rock. You find out he has the uh, he had the Rona after he's already cured from. It. He's like, yeah, you know. It came in. I said, "Get the fuck out!" And I'm better now. <laughs> well, yeah, like, uh, like again. Oh no, the super rich, like, just machine of a man got the coronavirus, and he's just like, "Yeah, I was a little tired. It kind of sucked." Yeah, that's, and it's funny too because you say super rich fit, and they had that story a while back where uh, J Patterson didn't want to get in shape for the role. Uh, he didn't because he didn't want to like set a a negative stereotype. Or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, he didn't story. want to bulk up for the role. 
because oh, okay. uh because you know uh batman traditionally is a pretty just big bulky guy and yeah he didn't want to i don't i don't really think his body type can really handle that much bulk either but yeah. i, I kind of got where he's going with it and I, I dig how he looks in the in the costume exactly plus yeah. i don't see batman having to be all bulky batman was more um he, he had a lot of martial arts and, and control yeah. and like stuff like that where being bulky was going to keep him from doing a lot of things that he would need to be doing like fucking zip lining and fucking <laughs> grappling hook you know that's why i never really understood the idea that everybody had in their head that oh no batman has to be super jacked and you know 260 it's one of those things where you know bruce lee wasn't jacked but he was cut like a motherfucker he was cut out of stone and, and scary fast <laughs> Yeah, and that's the type of him. It's like Spider Man and Batman are, are real similar in that body type. Spider Man, even more so, he's more of an athletic build. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you look at someone like Bruce Lee, and then you look at someone like, you know, a bulked up Affleck or Caviezel, or not Caviezel. Caviezel uh, played Jesus. 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 Yeah, I, we were talking about him the other week, but um, Superman, Man of Steel. Henry Cavill. 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 Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I, I I take Bruce Lee over the, any of those other ones. <laughs> so if he's got that kind of tone look to him, he's fine, you know. And the only thing I can see is it might take him a little bit longer because he doesn't have a whole lot of bulk mm -hmm. with the virus. But I mean, I think he'll be fine. I don't think they'll lose too much time, if any, no, in the production. Because especially like you said, yeah. they're just filming scenes that don't have him in it, or like scenes his body double could do. Because Batman's got to be like one of the easier body doubles you could do just put him in the costume and then don't show his face hide him in the shadows for a it's little not, bit it's not like captain marvel's where her body double had more of an ass than that she fucking did bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we need an ass double pronto we got a bad case of the hank hill but <laughs> what else you got speaking v? speaking of uh dc i was hearing a little the uh the flash it's definitely leaning towards uh, rebooting the whole. Uh, they're, oh, they're, good. Yeah, they're talking about like starting all fresh. Uh, now, a little bit that I'm hearing is that Affleck won't be in this movie. Say Affleck won't be in another movie. Uh, I, I've been hearing he's going really back and forth about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to the Flash them doing this and resetting the whole uh, DCMU, so that way we can get some good stuff coming out. You know, fix the mistakes that were made. Yeah, and I can then see them doing that. And Flashpoint's the perfect way to do it. That's how they did it with the comics. So that's what I'm saying. In reality, they can they, they can uh, cash in on it because it's 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 all part of the story. As long as they get to see Keaton again, I don't care. They can do whatever they want. As long as they don't make Keaton suck, I'm happy with it. Right. <laughs> Speaking of unbulky Batman's, <laughs> <laughs> so the Flash movie it's still moving along. Uh, Wonder Woman. Everything else in DC Universe is still going. Black Widow is uh, pushed back. I guess that's going to mean that they push back everything else, like the externals that's, and yeah, Shang Chi likely. and all that. All right, any other movie stuff? Um, not directly movies, but like staying with movies and superheroes. Anybody else see Captain America's penis? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the thing is that everyone has seen Captain America's penis now. I, that's uh, America's penis. It, first of all, Captain America's got a fucking hog on him. Um, <laughs> like, it, it's bad enough that you're like super rich, really good looking, and you have to have a huge penis too. It's like, fuck, man. <laughs> save some. You know, the funny save some thing hope is... for the rest of us. Yeah, you uh, you sent it to to the the chat group. You said he's like, "Oh, we're bringing this up." I'm like, "Oh, okay." And like yesterday, this was like maybe a week ago. And then yesterday, my wife is like, "Hey, did you know about Captain America?" I'm like, "Yeah, you want to see it?" And she's like, "Uh," like she gave me the weirdest <laughs> look. I was like, "Hold on one second, let me bring it to you." She said, "Why do you have this?" And then I showed her the chat. She's like, "Oh." Okay, I guess it makes sense. And she Darkness. looked at it, she's like, oh. Darkness okay. is like, I've already looked at it 12 times. 12 <laughs> Just times. Just cranking off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's weird, because you look at the picture that you sent the, the chat, 
and yeah, there's like a dick pic in there, but there's all these other weird random pictures of him doing God knows. I what, did like the I did know? like the picture of his face that said "Guard that pussy." <laughs> yeah, it's all kinds of stuff in there. But like, uh, I yep. kept, like at first it, it is hilarious, but I do kind of like, I do kind of love the idea that uh, Twitter is kind of doing everything to bury it because they're just posting uh, pictures of him. He, he is a super like sweet guy, and there's just a picture of him, you know, in Captain America outfit with sick kids and doing all this great, all this great uh, being a gentleman with uh, with Betty White. And helping her oh, on stage, yeah. doing all these really nice, really sweet things, and he is, but he still uh, dropped a pic of his dick on Instagram. <laughs> That's the problem in Hollywood. All these people start like you know stereo- stereotyping somebody in like a role, like he's Captain America. He can't do no harm. He doesn't cuss. Oh, he was. Fuck, yeah. He was in the Losers, dude. <laughs> like was he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't nice in that movie. Have you? Oh, I love that. I just watched well, like, it. Well, Chris other day. Evans, the guy, is a really nice, uh, sweet individual. No, it, like, he wasn't a, a gentleman and, and really nice in uh, uh, Scott Pilgrim either. Right. But he, the thing is, he's just a guy. Like, we, we can't just like picture them as an oh, extremely he's good looking America, guy with a fat hog. And he can't go <laughs> wrong. I mean, even, even I, I guarantee, um, you know, God rest his soul, Chadwick Boseman, I mean, he probably wasn't the perfect guy in the world but i mean he was a generally good guy and you can't like tie him to what he was on film you have to see what he is as a person i'm pretty sure he has a fucking dick pic floating around somewhere okay <laughs> like i said it, it can happen to the best of us and on that note i want to give a shout out to spoon man <laughs> if you're listening buddy oh spoon man. <laughs> and that's as far as we'll go with that one. <laughs> oh, all spoony I, I haven't used a spoon since yo yeah, okay. <laughs> That poor guy. It was a is a nice teaspoon at that. That's Jesus. that's another thing. Is like you gotta be you gotta be like really good looking <laughs> and have a fat hog on you. Unfair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, if you could have one or the others, I guess you know. <laughs> I don't know. People they get both, man. It's those one percenters. I swear to God. <laughs> All right, so you'd be like closing the uh... Elson movie. So. I, uh, I've been, so, uh, not only watching Waxworks, but I just watched the, uh, 1979 version of One of Stranger Calls. Oh, I yeah. love that movie. Is that the one with, uh, what's her name? Uh, La La La, Latka's girlfriend. I forget. Carol. Yeah. Carol. I can't remember her oh, name, but yeah. Just uh, tell me now. Um, she was in Scrooged. She was in, uh, The Never Ending Story, I believe. Was she? Okay. Or no, no, uh, no. I think the Princess Bride. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Princess Bride. You're right. Um, damn, I can't remember her name. But no, I, I I watched that. Like, I remember that movie as a kid, and it, it was like creepy in just the fact of what it was. Um, I totally forgot that the middle of the movie was kind of like, uh, yeah. but um, I really enjoyed rewatching it. It was it's better than the remake. I tell you that much. Yeah, I never saw. The I'm remake. still looking for most things are better than the remake. Uh, I'm still looking for the uh, part two. I'm looking for when a stranger calls back. <laughs> Carol Kane. That was who it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I just been on this uh, this kick of trying to find like older movies that I, I remember as a kid and rewatching them. How would you do a sequel to to when a stranger calls? Because like the bit wasn't the big twist like the calls coming from inside the house. Yeah, it has something that I I don't remember it all that well, but it had something to do with uh like things happening again similar to what happened and they bring her in as like a uh consultant or something like that. That's what I'm trying to find out. I, I don't remember it all that well, but I, I remember there being a sequel. No, well, if anything made any notoriety or any money, they usually sequelize it somehow. It's like the hills have eyes and the hills still have eyes. It's, okay, well there's why. I still know but, what you did yeah. last summer. <laughs> I will always know what you did last summer. Oh, I yeah. forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, most people there's did. A, <laughs> there's like four, four or five of those fucking. I know what you did. Still know what you did. I can't believe you uh, did yeah. that. <laughs> I can't believe. I, st- I can't believe you did that last summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, it was like Long John Silver, the the fucking breaded fish guy that was chasing <laughs> yeah. him. What the hell? It was uh um fucking what's his name from it uh Peter Skarsgård. Skarsgård? No, no, no. The kid, the kid with the uh, yellow rain jacket who got killed. Uh, Georgie. Georgie. It was Georgie all grown oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> No, if you saw it, uh, you know right. Georgie doesn't grow up. <laughs> Movies, are we done? Um, I think so. I haven't I mean, watched anything was... new. <laughs> okay. Other, other than uh, you know, TV shows. I that yeah, obviously you said you haven't watched yet. Uh, you really need to. No. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm at the mercy of my wife on that one. She suggested we watch it, and then be a fucking man and say, "Hey, I, this is my TV now." I oh no I I don't mind doing it. I watch stuff without her but you know bro you gotta be she doesn't let me wanted to watch it with me so she doesn't let me damn it no I damn I can it, watch it but then it's one of those things where I gotta watch it again with her and make off like I've never seen it. <laughs> do it it's well it's well worth it are you going to, are you going to be a Johnny oh. or a Daniel Johnny or a Daniel come on dude. I'm going to be Mr. Miyagi and use my wisdom to get myself out of this one. <laughs> Pure pressure. There you go. Pure pressure. But no. Yeah. Two flicks, you know, I, if it was as good as it was, I would have actually probably, you know, subscribed to, what was it, um, YouTube Red or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I was, was going to say, this I is, almost this called it a Red show t- that they made for Netflix. I almost called it Red Tube, but that's a porn site. Um <laughs> But yeah, YouTube Red or whatever, it was uh, made for there, um, and then they now. Oh, okay. So it, they're, we're going to get more of it now. I, I don't know if it was the fact that like um, YouTube couldn't keep up with like the uh, production value, or if um, you know, I, I don't know what happened. But they moved it over to Netflix, and uh, Netflix has taken over. Just hopefully they don't kind of uh, go and fuck it up like they do with a lot of shows. Because so far. So far, it makes you view the Karate Kid in a totally different light. I'll yeah, I'm gonna peer pressure my wife into watching that one, and if she says no, I'm just gonna watch it by myself. I would. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna make sure she doesn't listen to this week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> You're on that show talking shit again, smack, smack. Yeah, <laughs> stop it, no. All right, so. Cobra Kai. Yes. Two yeah. seasons out. We got a third one coming. Can't talk much about that because you haven't seen it yet. So moving on, are we all caught up on the boys? Yes, we are. Let's talk about the boys. I am caught up on the boys. Holy shit. All right. Well, hold on. I want like we're getting to I want to put up the spoiler warning for uh the boys right now because I want to talk about some shit. Right? All right. All right. So let me get this out of the way real quick. Is anyone else kind of, I mean, with with the exception of a couple of highlights, does this seem a little bit slower to anyone? I know it's just the beginning part of the season, but is it starting to lag for anyone? No, not really. It, it's, not, okay. it's not lagging. It's actually, I think it's taking time and um, kind of letting you uh, get more of a story than what the first season was. was was like a lot of like in your face. See, Darkness, the yeah. thing about me and Big Vicious is that we appreciate art, and what this is doing is uh, character building. We don't need things flashing in front of us and blood splatters every 30 seconds to keep us entertained because we're sophisticated people who enjoy character development. Okay, so now you've just <laughs> inadvertently insulted my wife because she's like, it's slow, I don't like it this season. <laughs> Oh, so I'm either gonna have to cut this whole fucking episode out, or just make sure she doesn't listen to nah, it. Just so let her listen to it. I'll take the heat for it. I understand it's a slow burn, and I'm still into it because it's different enough from the comics. Yeah, that you still don't know what's gonna happen. So did you? But go for it. What do you? What do you? What did you love about it so far? Hold on, getting getting into the the comics sort of. Did you ever finish the comics? Yeah, the only thing I haven't read is Dear Becky, which I think the last issue is coming up uh, next week. Okay. So that's the only thing I haven't read from the boys. Like, the only th- I really kind of hope they keep that last uh, twist at the end that I won't spoil on here with uh, Black Noir. Yeah. I hope they yeah. keep that. It, they're bringing up things that if you're a fan of the comic, 
you're going to be like, oh, shit, they're going to do yep. it. But, you know, they brought up stuff about Lamplighter. They brought up stuff about, you know, Stormfront. I was going to say Stormfront's they brought up... a main character now. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, you were, we were talking about um, Jensen Eccles being... Uh, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. And I'm waiting for it. I'm like, come on, come on. But, yeah, it's, it, like I said, it's, it's interesting because if you're a comic fan and you've read it, you're seeing them laying the groundwork for something hopefully further on in yeah. the story. Um, and like, I, I kind of thought they're going to be a little bit more flashback heavy because I saw Stormfront and then Soldier Boy, but it looks like they're just bringing both those people to modern time. I mean, Stormfront was supposed to be, you know, in the 1940s fighting on, well, if you haven't figured it out, Stormfront's a racist, which, Fuck. you know, kind of kind of sucks because in the time and place we are now, and the only uh, character from the Pacific Northwest is a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they change it just enough that I'm like, all right, what are they going to do? Yeah. I don't, you know. And I do kind of so, like the whole, the new twist they've kind of done with it. Women's place in, in Vought in the Seven and uh, Stormfront is trying to be outwardly like, yeah, we're going to... We're going to uh, fight against, uh, you know, women having to wear skimpy outfits for Vought. Well, all the same time, she, you know, wipes out black families left and right for no reason. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting to see where they take it. And they're taking it a different route than they did in the comics. But there's some things in the comics I don't think they're going to be able to touch. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I mean, they've kind of like capes for Christ and... You know that the whole hero and what he, you know, yeah. So there's some some ugly stuff in that comic. Well, but it's a it's a it's Garth one Ennis of those book. Things. We expect, yeah. But it, like I said, it's one of those things where it touches on things without making them real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we were talking about that that movie on Netflix. You do it in a comic book form, you can get your point across, and nobody gets hurt. You know, and it's that kind of a situation in the comics that it's just it's disgusting and it, it, you feel it in the comics. I don't think they're going to be able to bring that specific element into the show. No. And I don't know if they'll do hero gasm either, but that would be hilarious. I uh, kind of hope they do. <laughs> <laughs> I do too, because it was such a, like a perfect thing. Cause you see Marvel comics like, Oh, secret wars. All the heroes are on some distant planet. And in the reality of the boys, it's like they're just going to be jackasses somewhere. <laughs> so, that's, that's what I love about yeah. it. It's just like, hey, it's the, it's it's, it's realistic to like if anybody had superpowers, they'd be just a bunch of assholes with it. Oh yeah, I think we would have much more villains than heroes. Oh, definitely. So, uh, what do we think about that uh, scene where Homelander potentially <laughs> fucks himself? <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were gonna bring it up. Oh, how many times have you have you pictured yourself doing that, Zach? Oh my God, the dream. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. I, this is it. I don't, I don't see why this is supposed to be weird. He, I've trying, discovered a new king his, today. He's trying to convince his wife to buy him a life size doll of himself so he can fuck it. <laughs> Not gay. It's masturbation. Right, so there you go. <laughs> There you go. I don't know. That was I was <laughs> I was openly like, "Holy shit, are they going to do this?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and like I say, for a show, they're hitting on some good stuff that you wouldn't think they would. No, you know. But it's yeah, I've been surprised so far. Like I'm saying, I hope they hit on some of the other elements and they keep true to the story. So yeah, I, I wonder how many seasons they're going to go through because. I mean, they could milk this thing forever if it's making them money. Fuck, I, I hope it's forever. I, you know, Homelander is the perfect casting. Yes, and that dude, it just—he's oh, dead on. You know, Homelander. Don't get me wrong; the other ones are good too. But that Homelander—I don't know who did that casting, but they should be given a medal for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah, like, like that's exactly what, especially in the comics, that's exactly who Homelander is. Is that guy with his smug little smile all the time. And when he wants yep. to, like, flip on crazy scary, he could do it. Right? Yeah. So I'm I'm looking for, I don't know how many episodes they're going to have this season, but we're on, what, four yeah. so far? And it's going to be week by week. Yeah. 
so they're doing a Mandalorian, like we were saying, and they're keeping people, uh, their subscriptions going for <laughs> as long as it takes. I said, it's Amazon Prime. I'm not going to cancel my membership because it gets me free one-day shipping. So I get that on top of the boys. I'm happy. Right. Yeah, uh, it's just a silver lining. I love that scene where Homelander walks up and goes, so hypothetically, you did this. Wham! Hits the dude in the ears, and he's just like fucking sitting there dying. Oh, I. Well, they had to try out. I yeah. kind of I thought that was hilarious <laughs> because he just straight up he goes like, "Don't bring these fucking losers to me again." Yep, and that's that's so Homelander. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was hideous. He's like pouring right. blood out of his ears and shit. We are the seven. All... We don't accept all these fucking cripples. <laughs> Uh, All right, so TV shows, movies, we're closing the door on that one. We moving on. Did we talk about the Mandalorian yet? We've talked about it a we, couple of times. We slightly I mean, brought it up, but uh, did anybody? I mean, obviously. Fuck yeah, I did. I watched yeah, both I watched trailers. Trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People got mad at me for that. So, uh, IGN, a little bit of insight for the listeners. IGN posted a, a fake trailer that uh it opens up and you see like uh you see the sarlacc pit and then you see footprints out of the sarlacc pit and you see somebody that kind of looks like boba fett and then flying off tatooine you see slave one okay i get excited but at that moment you get rickrolled (laughs) never gonna give you up and I thought it was hilarious. I was mad at first, but I thought it was hilarious. And then I posted it on my page, and people got mad at me. <laughs> I was like, I didn't fucking do well, it. I'm glad I read the comments before I actually went in there and looked, because I was like, ooh, man. And I'm like, oh, well, let me check these comments real quick. It's Zach. <laughs> <laughs> but then the real one right, posted. And, oh, yeah. The real one yeah. posted. That thing got me fucking excited. Mm-hmm. I love the Again. like they're they're uh, apparently gonna be um, investigating uh, pro wrestling for a while. <laughs> you see that part where they're in the ring and they're just beating the shit out of each other. Oh yeah, well they got Sasha Banks in there, so yeah, fuck her. That, that's where the scene where everybody points the guns at Mando and all of a sudden fucking uh, the kids like, oh shit, like, reaches zip. out, hits the button. Hits that was the good. <laughs> shuts. He's like. Like I know what's happening here, the fucking crickets and shit. <laughs> but, yeah, so uh, I could I'm be. Excited. Man, it's, it's... I'm excited. I wish Sasha, Sasha Banks wasn't in it, but that won't help stop me from enjoying it. Where are people gonna get all pissy because um, they thought that Sasha Banks was a Sokatano? <laughs> I hope. I hope she's just a off. small oh, character. Yeah. I hope she's gonna be one and done, killed off. In one episode, because I don't want to see her on my TV. Right, hopefully she's in that wrestling ring and gets her fucking neck snapped and shit. And like, <laughs> well, okay, so you know, try not to talk about wrestling, but here we go. I don't like her because, first of all, uh, I don't like it that she is a huge cock to fans. Secondly, she's such a huge like self mark. You could tell when she's going out there and getting ready to lose a match. Because she's pouty. <laughs> yeah. I hate that so I've, I've fucking much. Seen that. Oh, yeah. She ha- she goes out there. She half-asses everything. I mean, you can tell when she's going to win or lose. Because when she's going to win, she goes out there and does all this fucking flashy-ass shit. Like, gets all the flashy moves in. And when she's going to lose, she just kind of goes out there and fucking... Does the bare minimum. You know, she goes with it. Goes through the motions. Yeah. So, like I said, yeah, fuck her. I don't need her polluting my Star Wars with her to- toxic personality. I mean, it's kind of like watching a Zach Winters match. <laughs> Jesus. I'm, I'm fucking with you, bro. Fucking with you. Uh, he just logged out. He's gone. Good job, B. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Fuck you, because every time we went out there and lost a match, you were the one who was always behind me and been like, hey, fuck these guys. <laughs> yeah. But it's also funny, too, because... There's been a couple of things that Zach Winters has always said. It's like, I'm not losing to this guy. And he's usually referring to me. And he's like, I'm not taking the pinfall in this match. And it's usually referring to me. 
No, so. <laughs> I still haven't lost a match against you, too. No, no, I don't think we've, yeah. <laughs> he refuses, flat out refuses to take a pinfall loss to me, which is always hilarious to me because I don't care. I got to protect like, my right, So then darkness will pin you. And, no, nope. no, I'll get counted out. Nope. <laughs> it's like, okay, Jesus. <laughs> it's with my finish. I'll get frustrated and get counted we'll, out. We'll jump him. We'll jump him. It's a small five. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'll fucking weigh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm happy. Oh, I'm I'm okay, happy so with Marcus, this, this, and this. I love you guys talk at the same time, and then you both shut up at the same time, <laughs> and it's just dead fucking air. I love. That's why I love uh, having you two goons around here because now, like, when I don't want to lose a match, I can just have you two like hop in and uh, get me disqualified. Or if it's a tag match, they're the, we're the ones taking the pin. Well, you, I'll, yep. I'll get your back ball. <laughs> <laughs> you lost that match but, real good, Big V. Here's your roast chicken. <laughs> I lost you some chicken. Speaking of, real quick, WWE, uh, what do you guys think of them being banned off social media? Oh, that is the biggest load of horse shit I've ever seen in my life. That's bullshit, it is. <laughs> it is Vince McMahon being a bitter old man because because WWE is not the only place where you go and make money anymore, and he sees his talent going out there and being like. And making more money than they are with him. And he's like, well, I'm going to put a stop to that now, pal. I, I mean, what, the whole thing stemmed from Lana doing uh, power drinks or something. Promoting power drinks. Oh, on her Instagram? Well, I think it... I just said, I don't know. I, I don't know what it stems from. But you got, I mean, the possibility of the fact that Rusev was not, no longer part of the company. And Lana is. Yeah. And you got them both on the same... Or you have fucking uh, Moxley popping in on the fucking uh, episode of fucking whatever it was with uh, Renee. Yeah, they were you doing know. the uh, the stay at home promo show, and Moxley just walks by. <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be a kick in the balls to Vince. You know, he, that's how he takes it. Oh yeah. But I mean, you're, you're you're fucking over people like Xavier Woods, who's had his fucking gaming show for God knows how long. One of the biggest gaming channels on YouTube right now. He probably makes more right. money at that than he does at wrestling. That's, he has a yeah. torn Achilles tendon. That's the only way he's making money right now. Yeah, I mean, well, right now especially, but I mean, merchandise for New Day and his YouTube channel probably make him more than his contract. Yeah. It's just, it's insane. You're like cutting these guys off at the knees. And when their contracts come up, guess what? They're not going to renew. No, you because know? the whole thing about being a wrestler, especially on the indie circuit like us, we don't necessarily make the bulk of our money from being paid to wrestle. You know, it's through merchandise, it's through other things like this podcast. I mean, if, if all of a sudden one of the places that we work for goes, hey, Nick's the podcast. You can't do it. it, it really? Well, Are you going to subsidize my income? Well, it's it's also like, and, and Vince McMahon is just like every other promoter I've worked for. We're like, you're independent contractors, but I don't want you doing A, B, and C. Well, if I'm an independent contractor, what the fuck does it matter to you? Yeah, that's a big thing too. It's like <laughs> these guys get 1099 at the end of the year. They don't get insurance. They don't get retirement. Nope. They don't get anything like that. But you're going to still control them like they're an employee. Right. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, Yeah. I, I don't think, I mean, us especially, we look at it from the wrestler perspective, you know, but there's a lot of people that look at it too and they're like, that doesn't seem right. Because everyone nowadays is some kind of trying to pitch something to somebody. Everyone's got YouTube channels. Everyone's got something. Yeah. And you're already a, you're a public figure who's wanting to make some money. Like Lana with her, uh, with her Instagram posts, that she probably made 10K off that. Hey, if we give you $10,000, just get a picture of you in a bikini holding our energy drink. Okay. And then, yeah. you know, Vince is pissed because suddenly he's not the only way these people can make money and he runs scared because, again, he's at another point of, of his of his life with, like, WCW where, like, WWE isn't the only place to go and make money anymore. 
he doesn't have his thumb on these guys anymore like he used to. No. I mean, there's another viable. I mean, he had it in the 80s. He had it in the there 80s. No he had it in the early 2000s. Ooh. Yeah, he had it in the 80s. He lost it in the 90s. He had it in the early 2000s. And now he's starting to lose it again. It's like he doesn't know how to deal with it. So he just becomes a tyrant like he used to. Yeah. Yeah. But not only that, but you're you're fucking over the fans. Like, I mean, you can't get a personalized greeting from your favorite wrestler anymore, because Vince McMahon is like, "Fuck you, you're making money off it, so no, you can't do it." Oh yeah, now, I'm doing what, cameo stuff or what is yeah, it? Yeah, something like that. Oh no. Now, oh no, you mean I can't pay one hundred and five dollars to have Kevin Nash sleepwalk his way through a fucking birthday greeting for my wife that I got a day late? <laughs> is that a real? Story? That is a very real story. You did that? I bought a cameo from Kevin Nash because I thought it'd be cool. And my wife's one of my wife's favorite wrestlers is Kevin Nash. And I paid $105. Uh, I didn't get the cameo till the day after. And he was like half awake being like, hey, uh, sorry, I didn't uh, do this on your on your birthday. I had a whole bunch of things. I saw that I missed it. So uh, Zach got a hold of you, said I was a big, uh, big wolf, wolf pack fan. And, um, happy birthday. And he like fell. He like Jeez. fell asleep for thirty seconds and woke back up and remember <laughs> what he's doing. Oh he's like, oh gosh. yeah, that's a hundred and five dollars well spent. No, I fucking get a refund. <sighs> what the fuck is that? That's ridiculous, <laughs> my, man. My wife loved it, so I'm just like, whatever. Well, as long as she was okay with it, but still, man, that's some. That's fun. I was kind of upset because right. I saw. Well, I saw one with like uh, uh, Jason David Frank. And he like got up and he showed all these collect collectibles that he had. And then Bret Hart like cut a promo on these one people, and that was cool. And I'm like, okay, cool. Kevin Nash, you know, he's a smart guy. He he cuts a pretty good promo. And then yeah, I got that, and I was just like, oh, all right, well, <laughs> he probably tore a quad doing it too. So. <laughs> Kevin Nash is also the guy that did an interview while he was shoving pasta in his face. God, oh. I will fight anybody. That is the best shit I have ever seen in my fucking life. Because you know this fucking, this poor Mark was just like, oh my God, I get to meet and interview Kevin Nash today. Yay, what? He wants us to make uh, make him ravioli and salad. Okay, sure. And the whole time Kevin Nash is just talking about, like, he's just slurping up pasta and ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> like that's ha and like burping into the microphone, and then like uh, half the interview is him talking about how he wants to watch uh, Kelly Quayle do squats. <laughs> <laughs> it is the uh, fucking because you know he made out like probably fifteen grand with that interview. Yeah, sure, you pay me fifteen grand, I'll come over, but you got to make me some dinner too. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, my God. oh it is the funniest shit. I don't care that guy. That guy deserved it because, like, he looked like a little fucking dork. And <sighs> if you don't have a professional setup for him to be at, he's not going to give it his all. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it was, like, a, a, a camera and, like, two $25 mics that didn't, like, that were way too sensitive because you could still hear him burping. And he's making those, he's making those, like, old tired man noises. <laughs> Fucking, he, he's like reaching. Uh, yeah, he's he's like putting ravioli <laughs> in his mouth, and he's sitting there going. My uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Now I'm less mad because you reminded wow. me of that interview. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking great. It could have been worse as what you. It could have been <laughs> if it was. Just, oh, I so wish I just like because you can tell him what you want. Like, hey, take a bowl of ravioli. <laughs> And start eating it for me and tell my wife happy birthday. Hey, I just want to, um, happy birthday! And I heard you're a Wolfpack fan since you <laughs> since you were a kid. Burp. Uh. 
Anyway, what were we... <laughs> he, he, he does one. He does one for your birthday. Like, oh, hey, it's all echoey. Like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, happy. You see behind him, there's ass gaskets, the dispenser right behind him. He's fucking literally taking a shit, knocking out all his cameos for him. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, hey, I just want to say happy birthday. Oh, and you just had... <laughs> Plop. <laughs> you know that would have been better than what i got damn you need to post that to our uh our chat i want to see that can you do that or no uh, like, i don't like how do you get that do they send it to you do, in like a avi so or... you gotta cre- <laughs> so you gotta create an account and i think i'll be able to send you the link <laughs> Okay. What the fuck? Was... I don't have an account, so it's a free. Account. I just coughed and I didn't want to. Oh, okay. I'll set one up for the dark asylum. Oh, <laughs> we'll dude! See I'm how many so we get. I'm so doing toilet at happy birthdays. <laughs> Damn. Um, that's ridiculous, though. So maybe, maybe some of these people shouldn't be let on. Fucking, uh, oh, I'm sure if I put in the extra twenty, money. if I put in the extra twenty bucks, Big E would have put in way more effort. Oh yeah, definitely. I hate to say it, but some of these guys, you know what you're getting into. <laughs> you know what? I should have. <laughs> I had done the Iron Sheik. Jesus, that would have been gold. Oh my God, he would have put forth the effort. <laughs> I tell you what, Baba. You, I tell your wife happy birthday, then I fuck her in the ass with my 10-inch dick, and I put you in the <laughs> camel clutch. Thanks, Shiki. I, I, I humble you. I make you humble. Yeah, that would pretty much be what you get. But that's what you're expecting, so you're not you're not. That would have been that. worth every fucking penny, too. <laughs> Damn straight, Shiki baby. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about before this? Uh, TV shows. Oh, uh, Mandalorian. And... Fucking over the the talent. Yeah, that's what it anyway, led into. Fuck him for that. And then I had to go off of my cameo experience. Yeah, you had mentioned that you had one. I didn't know what you were talking about. Oh, but yeah, because damn, that we, sucks, we, man. You <laughs> almost missed out on the uh, Zach's rant. Oh yeah. No, no, we'll he'll fit it in. If he has to force it and make the show go, over, uh, that was kind of that was kind of it. Like just <laughs> fucking well, fuck, 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 we got sick man for that. Yeah, we got Zach's rant in there, man. Yes, <laughs> the only one flopping at this is fucking how how big V almost died. But you know, hey, we no, it's it's uh, we switched oh. it. It's busting with V now. And that kind of went through a flop too because there was no way we were doing this shit in the smoke. Well. I mean, Wasn't that what ghosts are though? A couple of them. <laughs> yeah. I almost I almost went up to uh the cemetery last night, but I stepped out and it was just it was too horrible out there. I couldn't breathe, so it was like whatever. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> the next ghost is V because he just suffocated <laughs> up there. The next, the next ghost is V because he ran upstairs too fast. Oh, damn. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> The next ghost of V because right. he laid on his back and his huge balls crushed him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. So we get a uh, comic books now. Um, I only got a couple things. I so. got I got one thing. I sent off my uh, Keanu Reeves. Well, Keanu Reeves. Oh, we didn't talk about that. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that was mine. I'm su- I'm I'm super like paranoid and nervous because I sent off. Uh, I have uh, the first issue of Batman Damned. Oh, uh, yeah. I sent. I just sent that off to get slabbed today, and I'm super paranoid that it fucks something up. Because if that comes back at a nine or ten grade, it's worth eleven hundred dollars. Because I was able to get a hold of the copy that one of the copies that has uh, Bruce Wayne's penis in it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's eleven it hundred dollars. Right up at the top, it says right at the top, first appearance, Bruce Wayne penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be it's a so character happy into itself. <laughs> you well, it should the be the guy fucks like a tyrannosaurus. Uh, uh, did you send off uh, the first appearance of Bane? No, not yet. I'm going to see how this one goes first, and then uh, if, if uh, that one comes back, all right, then I'll send off Bane. I have a bunch of shit I got to send off. All right, well. As far as comic book news, the only thing I came up with was Berserk. 
that Keanu Reeves book is coming out. Did you put money into it yet? I have not, no. Most of the stuff oh. that was interesting is kind of gone because it picked yeah, up a lot of steam. Because so. you have $2,500 to throw into the into the <laughs> be a character a good... in the book. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, so this is an interesting thing. Keanu Reeves came up with a story for a comic book. It's called Berserk. And he, it's like a Kickstarter, but not because they already were going to do it, but they were using Kickstarter as a means of pre-ordering the book. So, okay, I don't know. It's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, there's no comic book shops r- open right now. So they're getting all the orders in. Yeah. I mean, but with the virus and everything i'm not a lot of them are open and a lot of them are closing down and not going to reopen so they took the initiative to find an alternate means of you know producing it and getting it out there but it seems really cool i think the kickstarter might still be going actually so look up keanu reeves berserk it's like b-r-z-r-k yeah i think type in berserk with no vowels yeah but it sounds interesting. So he's, I, mean, yeah, a, I guess, like, a half god. Yeah, who's like, uh, it's kind of like the God of War scenario, where like everywhere he goes, he's got to fight somebody. But it, it, the we're not doing it justice. Look it up if you guys are interested no. out there. It sounds a whole lot better than <laughs> than what we're trying to make it out to sound. But, three, we're three idiots who are just like Keanu Reeves came out with a book and it's super violent. Yay! Yeah, so that's yeah, that's the only comic book thing I've got that's come up so far. Yeah, I get Empire finished, so I'll get ready to read that comic book arc. I have no idea what it's about, it's just one of their big crossovers over at Marvel. So I'll start mm-hmm. reading that, and then uh, Red Southern Bastards, Ooh, first book oh. of that. So that's the uh, comic book book club, yeah, we'll get Southern into that. Bastards. Yeah, let's, I mean. I mean, yeah, we'll get into that now if you want. That's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. It's cool. We're in the comic book section, so, yeah. Yeah. What'd you guys think? I, I loved it. What'd you guys think of it? I liked it a lot. I, spoilers. I mean, you guys are supposed to have read it, whoever's listening. But it went kind of the way that I was expecting until the very end. And then it set up so well for the next volume that, I'm already interested in reading the next one. Mm-hmm. So old guy left this kind of hillbilly town and for made good on his, on his life for what he left for the city for the city. Yeah. Really. And, uh, he comes back when his, uh, uncle's in the hospital and he packs up everything in this old house that, you know, he didn't have too good of a, upbringing with his dad and everything else and starts causing problem with the local boys and beats the hell out of them. And, you know, it's, it's kind of like walking tall in a way. I was yeah. going to say walking like, tall. Yeah. I mean, it starts off that way, but that's just all in the first volume. Yep. The, the next volume, it, it's, it looks like it's going to get even better. So yeah, almost like a revenge kind of, you know, scenario, which seems really cool. So I'm going to be picking up the second volume. Like, yeah, that was the, that was my favorite part of it where like after he kind of gets, uh, after the main character gets, has kind of enough and goes and gets his, uh, gets his daddy's stick and starts whipping the bully's asses around town in the, in the local barbecue shop. He's like, I la- I want to come in here and give me some ribs. And I'm going to come in here every day and give me some ribs until coach shows up. And and coach is the guy who coach is like winning football games for the team, but he's also a scumbag, almost like Hick Kingpin. Yeah, you'll find out. This is a very small spoiler, but you'll find out later. He, uh, they're uh, gun runners. Ah, okay. Yeah, they didn't get too too uh, in depth of the the criminal empire that he was running. I think I I can't remember. I haven't, I haven't read him in a while, but I think it's also drugs. But I'm pretty sure the mo- the bulk of it's gun running how about you v what do you think no i, I definitely liked it. It, it, it it's i didn't get to the end of it because i haven't done a lot of reading um like we went and almost finished and then we had all this uh craziness with the fires and everything and 
dealing with word. I'm really glad we didn't talk about the ending then. <laughs> no, it's I'm, I'm going to finish it. It's it's definitely I'm I'm already interested in going further, and I'm not even done with it yet. It's uh, it reminded me of Walking Tall at the beginning. It was like okay, this is kind of cool. It's a you know, fucking hillbillies and fucking uh, like instead of watching all these like crime movies about like the inner city, this is like fucking backwoods and fucking all kinds of ass kicking. What I mean, what did you like about it, Zach? You were the one that suggested it. This was your uh, oh choice for the week. I'm a huge fan of just like crime dramas, but I think it appealed. I, I, I come I come from like kind of a small hillbilly town in Oregon too. And uh I think that kind of appealed to me too where it was very much just like some asshole who's getting away with all this shit because he's winning winning games for the football team. And that shit actually kind of happens where like we'll look the other way while you know the star football players, you know, banging underage girls under the bleachers. Yeah, as long as he keeps winning it's okay. Yeah, as long as they keep women, and it's a very, it's a very real thing. But like, I just, I like crime, and I, the art, the art style, I think, is really like kind of purposefully ugly. Uh, yeah, I was going I mean, to say kinda... the art, the art was beautiful, but at the same time, it was purposely done to like not look. Yeah, to not look beautiful, but like it kind of is in a way, just because it shows like the ugliness of the, of the of the people and the area. Yeah, I liked it. And like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and get the second volume. I mean, reading outside of comic book book club, but so I like that one a lot. And, like, and plus, it also story. made me realize. It also made me realize how afraid of, of uh, getting hit with a greaser full of, fr- of uh, hot fries that I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it was uh, Southern Bastards. It was volume one that we just reviewed and went through. Um, I honestly, I don't remember who did it, but it me. you can find it out there. It was you. Yeah. No wonder you loved it so much. Yep. <laughs> so for next week, I'm going to suggest it's, uh, three issues. It's called we three W E and then the number three. And it was one of the first series and it's only three issues, but it was one of the first stories outside of like main superhero continuities kind of stuff that I read that I really enjoyed. And it, it's still comic booky, but it's got a, a good story behind it. And it's, it's sad. It made me actually like kind of depressed. So, but it's a good book and it's a good story and I uh, hope you guys like it. So right. I, it's a uh, vertigo title from DC. So comic book book club for next week. We three W E three W E three W E and the number three. Yeah. Hopefully and I can find what it. What else do I have here? Right, it's DC. It should be pretty easy. I mean Vertigo, but you know. Are you looking it up on Comixology? Yeah, I didn't want to bring it up because they already owe me a lot. And uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, where's our where's our dim? There's our damn free comics of comicsology. Yeah, comicsology with the X because you know it's extreme. Extreme. All right. Well, I guess that's it. I mean, we survived being burned alive, and we survived. Uh, well, so far we've survived inhaling toxic rain. And, oh no, we toxic fumes. The acid rain should be starting sometime tomorrow, so that will be fun too. Toxic Rain. Um, keep your cars at such. Song by that one. Acid Rain. He's on it. What? Oh. Toxic Rain. Toxic Rain. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, hopefully, not pending anything else that we're going to get smited with between now and next week. Uh, we'll have a review of We Three and whatever other comic and pop culture news comes up. So. For uh, Zach Winters. You. What? What? You you keep cutting out. I can't hear what the hell you're saying. Yeah, the internet keeps dropping or some shit. I don't know what's going on. He's playing this new new porn game. (laughs) Sex Void or whatever the fuck. (laughs) 
<laughs> All right. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it. All right. So for your Zach winners. Yes. And Big Vicious. Goodbye. This is Darkness and the Asylum is closed. <laughs>